Hello and welcome to PE Buddy. Mr. D here. Welcome to Safe Sports Supplements Part 3. Today we're going to be looking at creatine and how it can help us get bigger, stronger and faster. Let's get into it. So creatine is a naturally occurring substance in the body. It is the number one supplement for improving performance, especially in the gym, and it is one of the most tested supplements on the planet. So creatine improves performance for strength and power-based exercise, it assists in building muscle, and it assists in high-intensity exercise. Creatine provides plenty of benefits for athletes, specifically, it increases strength and muscle mass, improves general sporting performance. It boosts the workload, enabling you to push more, lift more, run more. And it also reduces protein breakdown. Here are some statistics about creatine. In one 12 week study, weightlifters increased their muscle mass two to three times more with creatine than those without. Another review found weightlifters increased their strength by 8% their overall performance by 14% and their bench press huge 43%. Finally, a study focusing on cyclists found that they improved their sprinting by 15% after just 28 days of creatine loading. Pretty impressive. So how did those athletes gain those amazing results? How does it work? Well, to answer that question, we're gonna to need to have a look at adenosine triphosphate or ATP. I'd encourage you to rewatch one of my previous videos focusing on energy to gain a better understanding about ATP and how it energizes the body. So here we have a diagram. First I want you to focus on these batteries. Here we can see a partially charged battery. That's a representation of ADP or adenosine diphosphate. Over here we have a full battery. This is representing adenosine triphosphate. Di means two. Tri means three, as represented here by these little p's, or phosphate. So essentially, how does creatine improve performance? Very basically, ADP, as we said before, has got two phosphates. Phosphate and creatine form a bond to create phosphocreatine. This is the molecule that is needed by ADP to turn it into ATP, to be used by the body for energy. So therefore, logic dictates that if we have more creatine floating around in our system, that'll assist bonding to phosphate and creating more phosphocreatine molecules, which will be ready to join to the ADP to create ATP. In other words, filling our half-filled battery into a fully charged battery ready to power our body. Here's an animated version of what we were just talking about. Down here, we have the ADP and the phosphate. Again, when we add creatine into the mix, that joins together with the phosphate to create phosphocreatine, adding to ADP to create ATP. So, how do you consume creatine? It comes in a powder form. We call it creatine loading which is starting a couple of days or weeks before the event and working your way up to it. So the recommendation is to take 20 grams per day, five to seven days. This should be split into five gram servings throughout the days. A few considerations before you go out and try creatine. Uh, please bear in mind it can lead to weight gain due to water retention. I would suggest you practice at training before games just to make sure you don't react poorly to it and start with small amounts and work your way up to the recommended dosages discussed on the previous page. Remember to do your own research, have a go and let me know how you go in the comments. Thanks everyone, bye. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and comment with any feedback or other things that you'd like to learn about and subscribe for more. Thanks everyone, bye.